Take a look at the sky. Are we looking at a daytime sky or a nighttime sky? We are looking at a daytime sky. What can we see in the sky that lets us know we are looking at a daytime sky? First, the sun is visible in the sky, letting us know that it is daytime. Also, if we look around us, we can see the grass, trees, and houses all lit up by the sun's light. We can also see that the sky appears to be a blue color as the sun's light bounces through Earth's atmosphere. As we move through the day, the sun appears to move through the sky from east to west. Now, the sun is not actually moving through the sky. It just appears to move as the Earth rotates or spins in place. And if we look to the east, we can see that the moon is rising in its waxing crescent phase. This shows us that we can even see the moon during the day at different times, depending on which phase it's in. Now, as the sun sets in the west, we can see that the sky appears to show bright orange and reds of the sunset. Now, are we looking at a daytime sky or a nighttime sky? We are looking at a nighttime sky. Now, what can we see in the sky that lets us know we are looking at a nighttime sky? First, the sky is no longer a shade of blue because the sun's light is shining on the other side of our planet. We can see through our atmosphere and into the darkness of space. We can also see stars shining their light towards us from very far away. Now, some of these stars are not what they seem. For example, if we look at this very bright star through a telescope, we'll see that it's not a star at all, but the planet Venus. Of course, depending on what phase it's in, we can see the moon in both the daytime and the nighttime sky. But let's look back at the stars. We can connect the stars to make pictures called constellations. The ancient Greeks of this constellation, Ursa Major, or the Big Mama Bear, and they called this constellation Ursa Minor, or the baby bear. Now, do these constellations look very much like bears to you? Well, let's fix that. With a little imagination, we can see each of these constellations as the Greeks saw them back when they would look into the sky. Now, let's let the night pass so that we can see the sunrise in the morning. Passing through the night sky here, we can see our own Milky Way galaxy. And as the sun rises in the east, again we see the bright oranges and reds of sunrise, and a new day begins.